Today, Precarious plays Subnautica. Gotta swim past it. Oh yeah, that was that was always that was always on the docket. I'm just trying to get ready to support you in whatever way that I can, and I don't know what that is. You can support me by not judging me too harshly when I begin to weep openly and whimper and cry and whine. I have no need to be that type of judgmental. No need to be judgmental at all, in fact. And I am also going to try to keep my own displays of outward emotion tamped down because really what I would like to be saying to you is that is a whole ass demon. (laughs) Um, But in a very loud and disruptive way. So I don't want to um, ruin the calm. So I'm going to um, keep using my uh, be kind to strange animals. Hey there voice. We Uh, should scan it. (laughs) Fuck you! Get us out of here! You are... I can't believe... I'm over here. Trying... To not... Be... So moved. Oh, it's us. It's us. Great. Excellent. What do we do about it? Just Nothing. Keep rolling. Yep. Okay. Oh. Ah, I was late. Uh. The shield is off. Yep. Oh. Okay. I wish this was the type of game that had, like, different roles where, like, someone could be the watch the map and turn the shield on and off officer, yeah. and another person could be the drive forward deliberately and quickly without crashing officer, yep. and then someone else could be the scream at the monster officer. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would like that. We don't have that. Nope. Uh-huh. Okay. Um... Mm-hmm. Eee, why is there that? What is that? That's a normal thing. You were right. Now that I've seen one, I think everything is that. Excellent. Thank you so much, game, for ruining my perception of a beautiful thing by introducing a horrific thing that looks a little like the beautiful thing in motion. What is that spiny thing? Did you see that spiny thing above? Trying to get the hot out of the way. You see that? What is that? You see that little sneaky wiggle? You're uh, seeing that too, right? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is either. Is it one of those shocky guys? What is that? That does not look... There's another one. Maybe it's a, it's a nothing. Is it one of the shocky guys? I didn't think they lived down here. I have no idea what it is, but that's just my best guess. But it's not doing anything shocking, so. Maybe it's just flora, no, fauna that I just don't remember. Oh, here's that, here's that skeleton. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, big guy. We saw him too. Huh. Scared oh. me to death too. Finally. What's uh, our battery like right now? Okay, high, we're doing high enough. great. We're doing great. You're doing great. We're no, doing we made great. it. We're fine. Everything is fine. Everything. Unless they fucking change something to make me mad and sad and make things bad, we're fine. We're safe. I have all. Uh, of, I have all of my arms tucked into a safe little ball right now. Ooh, okay. I don't want to touch anything. Now, this is what we've been angling for this whole time. We can set up a base here. Yeah, because there are steam geysers everywhere, and I have never encountered anything 
dangerous in this cave other than the environment. Okay. So here are some some trubs, right? Here are some problems. Uh Uh-huh. Eat soggy west. Okay. So that leads to uh, the final new biome... It, it, it's it's Norfair. Okay. That that leads to Magmore Caverns. Fun. Um, I generally actually think it's a less spooky. It's a less intimidating than what we just went through. Mm-hmm. It's just a little more annoying. Okay, so... Ah, uh, shit. You know what I'm suddenly worried about? What? How deep can our prawn suit B. You just got modules and stuff for that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so right now we cannot go any deeper with the Cyclops right now. Okay. So we're gonna power the engine down. To conserve battery. <laughs> what? Okay, so the the uh the ghost did actually mess us up. Okay. I I didn't know. I didn't know. Duh, that is not <laughs> That is not our problem right now, computer. <laughs> no, I mean like we're getting what we need right away. Seek fluid intake is here. It's coming in. <laughs> I have been trying so hard Get off. I've been trying so hard to just be calm, and it's just resulting in in a resurgence of mean girl sarcasm. (sighs) But all of these, I think, are friendly. I don't think there's anything mean. That's great. Get back in the car. In this game. I mean, mean, this is just, we just have to, you gotta get comfortable being I'm not yet, though. Get in the car. (laughs) (laughs) Getting comfortable is a process, and we're not all the way through it yet. So. Seek fluid intake. (laughs) We're fine. Gonna, gonna seek some sweet and salty and savory fluid intake. Oh, gonna God, intake some fluids. <gasps> nice and easy. Oh my gosh, I think I have a headache. No, I know I have a headache. I don't know how we've arrived at a scenario where you seem to be more freaked out than I am. I'm crying. I, it's the residual anger from all of the tech issues that we had. Yeah. That I was also holding in. Do you want to establish? Uh, I, I, we, we're gonna have please to come, turn away from the cat. We're I gonna can't have look to at him right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to come up with a, a name for our base down here. So we've got hot base, not base, and thought base. It's hot base. Yeah, no. it's the thought base, and we just need to make it in the shape of a of a, a of a voluptuous internet. Denizen. Um, oh boy. Okay, so. All right. Let's let's pause for just a second. Yes. And acknowledge that we're here. We are here. And we are currently safe. We are, relatively speaking, safe. We are currently in this moment safe. Yes. We have. All of the things that we need to solve all of the problems that are coming. Including ways to go back and fetch things that we might need later. We have... Yeah, now that we're down here, it's much easier to find ways back out. It's it's going to be okay. And everything is going to be okay. And I almost believe it at this point. And I'm can take a couple more breaths. Okay, so you see this too, right? There is no depth upgrade installed. Correct. How did that happen? I thought for sure that 
I thought we got the plans for it. Maybe we just got the plans for it and then didn't... Didn't actually put it together? Yeah, I think that that's what happened. Right? Where is the depth module? I remember we went out of our way to find it. There. There it is. No! See? It takes three nickel ore, and you have to come down here for that. So how are you supposed to get it? I'm... I'm gonna try something dangerous. You gonna pop out and see how much it damages you? It's okay, we're... It's fine. Oh. Hold on, how do I... How do I send? Ugh. Okay. Yeah, it definitely is only 900 meters, and it definitely messes us up pretty quickly. But I think that the nickel we need, I'm pretty sure it's in the Lost River, not in the uh, North Air. It's not in the biome below this one. Mm -hmm. And we're pretty low in the Lost River in this little hole, aren't we? Yeah, like I think you can find nickel like here. Like, in these channels. Mm-hmm. But what that means is that we're just going to be swimming around without the prawn suit for a bit in can, this in this cave. Can we do that? Won't we get crushed? No. No. Why? Your, your player character doesn't have a, a crush depth. Oh. So your meat is more resilient. Yeah, I don't know 100% about the right, science just, on that one, but... It's a super suit. <laughs> sure, whatever, whatever. We've, we got... We got a, we got a rebreather, so that's good. <laughs> um, okay, no point in dawdling. Do you want to set up a base, or do you want me to set up a base? You set up a base. I hate everything. Okay, then you have to take control of this. Yes. And you have to take control of this. You got it. And I get to pick what the base looks like. Okay, can I still pick what it's called? Yeah. That seems like a fair division of labor, I think. Mm-hmm. Do you still get input? I won't settle us with anything okay. real stupid. So we need titanium and lead and lithium and a quartz to start. Is this the lowest base we're going to have? This is the lowest base we're going to have, but we do go deeper. Could we call it base base? <laughs> it's it's a little stupid, but it's fun. We could call it we could call it base base, I guess. We call it bass base. I don't know. Part of me wants to call it drop the base. Drop base. We could call it drop base. Drop base. Hmm. I need to think more about it. Well, I'm fine with drop base or base base. And we also need... We could also call it Serenity Base, because we all know how that friggin' goes. Um, I think we should call it Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil, no. For the, the tree of life. No. It is the world tree what sustains us. Uh-uh. I don't like that one. Because it's all thanks to this beautiful tree that we are able to to exist. So the only rule is we got to be close to one of these thermal guys, mm -hmm. so we can hook the base up to that. Uh, which which one looks good? You want that one? You want you want this one? You want that one? I like the cozy blue nook that you that one. That one. All right. Yeah, that seems like a place to be. Wait, where do we get air? Just the Cyclops, huh? Yes. Ah. Uh, yes. It's horrible. Here? You yeah, want that? Yeah, that, that is good. Oh, and look, there's probably nickel in the ground. Did you see it through the mist? That's uranium. Oh. Um, that is the, lithium? That is... Don't know what that is. Sandstone, which might help us find the two pieces of silver that we forgot to get until mm -hmm. just now. Uh... Okay. What? I saw our own boat and it looked dangerous. 
<laughs> it's a fine craft, thank I... you. We need not fear oh. the Cyclops. Oh, boy. Okay, so what are you thinking? Oops, that's hot. I don't know, maybe thought base is more appropriate. No. Than I realized. Well, yeah. So yes. I just, it was, it was I it still was don't want to go, I still don't want to go for Hold it. Hold on, I, I got to think about this because we need to go up a little higher so that way the, the prawn can get into the... The moon pool. Right. Mm -hmm. Is this, I think that this should be fine. I'll set the moon pool up sooner rather than later. Mm-hmm. So we yeah. can find out. And we gotta get a way to start charging batteries as quickly as possible because having that Cyclops at 30% just makes me really nervous. Really well, nervous. that's actually, uh, we. I think we might have the solution to that, but I think, here, let me, uh, let me go see if we have the solution to that. I mean, we do. We do have the solution because we have a moon pool. I know, yeah, which... But I'm assuming that you're talking about a different kind of solution. We have the prawn suit thermal reactor, which is really what we need at this point. I mm -hmm. don't know if we have the schematic for... No, we've got the Cyclops one, too. So yeah, see, we, we're fine. We, we just have, have to... You, you have to uh, park the little engine, I think, over over one of these geysers, and then it's just free energy forever. Aw, nice. I should probably park the Cyclops closer, which I will handle in just a minute. For right now, there's one thing that I wanna check to see if we can keep building here, or if we need to move some things around. Mm-hmm. Will this... Ooh. It's fine. It It's dealing damage technically, but it's very, very low. So we can just put it on top of the geyser. Okay. Okay. And it does have like its little, its natural little energy field mm -hmm. that it will, uh, the little beam, little beam energy over to the platform. Mm-hmm. Um, are we near the end of an episode? Yes, we are at the end of an episode. What I'm gonna do is between episodes, I'm gonna see if that platform is in a position where I can like put the moon pool in any configuration that allows the prawn hypothetically to, to get in. Mm. And once I've got that, we'll come back and beat Subnautica. Next episode. Uh, G games on our short list. We were swimming through bubble gum and taking names, and I don't know anybody, and we don't have any bubble gum. That's how <laughs> phrases work. You say the words in combinations, and meanings are conveyed. And it's a powerful message for today's youth about the dangers all right. of knowing people and also bubble gum. Don't do bubblegum, kids. 